Welcome back to Sunny with a Chance of Funny. I'm your host, Calvin Evans. Yesterday, news broke that R&B sensation Chris Brown was in a standoff with police at his Los Angeles home after a woman accused him of pulling a gun on her. Check it out. Police came to the home when Miss California Regional Bailey Curran accused Brown of pulling a gun on her. The incident started when uninvited guests reportedly arrived at the residence, prompting someone inside the home to ask the unwelcome attendees to leave. Brown was reportedly asleep when cops arrived. Los Angeles police reportedly obtained a gun, several other weapons, and undisclosed drugs from singer Chris Brown's home on Tuesday after the R&B artist tossed the bag from a window of his Tarzana home. Ray J later tried to leave but was promptly cuffed by law enforcement officials at the end of the driveway, and his BMW was seized. While all this was going down, Brown took to Instagram and had this to say. I'm not coming out, but what? I ain't did shit, I ain't gonna do shit, and it's always gonna be fuck the police. Black Lives Matter, nigga. I don't care. Y'all gonna stop playing with me like I'm I'm debilitating out here like I'm going crazy. I'm not. You guys got me fucked up, though. So, good luck. When you get the warrant or whatever you need to do, you're gonna walk right up in here, and you're gonna see nothing, you idiots. I'm tired of fucking dealing with y'all. Y'all the worst gang in the world, the police. And I said it, fuck you. I'm watching this news story and I'm thinking to myself, why is Chris Brown kicking it with Ray J? Was Trey Songz busy? Don't nobody kick it with Ray J on purpose. You bump into that motherfucker at the club, you be like, oh shit, he come. No, no, here, no, he come brand new, little brother. He come, he come, hey, what's going on with you, baby? No, 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 you cool, you cool. You, no, sit down, sit down. Ray J look like he drink up all the liquor and do all the drugs and just sing One Wish. If I had one wish, we will be best friends. Love will never end. The second thing that pissed me off is that they kept referring to this chick as Miss California Regionals. Who the fuck cares? What you saying when you say Miss California Regionals is, she didn't make it to the finals. That's like somebody walking around saying, hey, you know I was Miss Dalton, Illinois, right? Get the fuck out of here with that. Here's another thing. Chris Brown should have never went on Instagram campaigning for his innocence. The more you say you didn't do something, the more guilty you look. He in there talking about, oh, you ain't gonna find nothing. Did he turn around and throw a bag full of guns and drugs out the window? That motherfucker was like, y'all ain't gonna find nothing up in here. Cause it's in that bag now. Everything that was in here is in that bag. So y'all ain't gonna find nothing up in here. I'm watching this whole scenario play out from beginning to end and I'm pissed off thinking to myself, if I can't point a gun at somebody in my house, then what the fuck is the purpose of having a gun in a house? Hey, you have me them Doritos? No, 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 the cool ones. Hey, slow down player, I had next on 2K. Yeah, you, and I'm playing with Golden State. And I'm playing with Golden State. Anybody want some Kool-Aid? Tell. Ray J to stay at home. Shit, I'll sit down singing the national anthem. Who took my charge? I'm at 2%. Stop playing with me. This leads me to my topic discussion today. Has the price of fame risen too high? With the vast majority of social media outlets and blogs, it seems like people are more invested in seeing entertainers take L's. It used to be if you wanted to get the dirt on celebrities, you go buy tabloids, you watch extra in the evening. But now all you got to do is log on to Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat to get minute by minute updates on celebrity drama. Let me know what y'all think. What's more entertaining, the rise of the fall? Was Beyonce last album hot because the music was great or because y'all thought she was leaving Jay-Z? Leave some comments down below and let me know what y'all think. I've been your host, Calvin Evans. You watch the Sunny with a Chance of Funny. I'm out. Don't act like you don't know.